Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. So sit down. Back at it again. Like, subscribe, share, smash the like button, comment, algorithms. We've got young Javi in the building all the way from the left coast, L.A. Hello, sir. Yo, thank you, boss. Thank you for having me. What brings you to the sit down this afternoon, sir? Just getting some more work done, man. I'm definitely, you know, taking this year to put in a lot more content, a lot more videos, a lot more music. So, you know, I've been working with my boy Josh S for the past year, just getting everything in, just getting my grind done. I've never been to L.A. Talk to me about the the, the scene in L.A. Uh, L.A. scene's pretty dope. I'm not really too much involved. It, it is pretty hectic as it is kind of New York City, so I like to stay in the outskirts. Um, I'm over by Rancho Cucamonga area, and I go in and whenever I need to work. Cucamonga, where have I heard that before? <laughs> that's crazy oh, I literally just moved up there recently Wow Yeah Okay so So talk to me Give me a story of why, wh What brought you to, to rapping So um, I started piano Well I was introduced to music At a you know really young age My mom put me in piano At five years old And I learned classic uh, classical piano For a long time And then um, I was introduced To Changes by Tupac I learned the mm. Bruce Hornsby Composition on the piano Learned how to rap And that inspired me To start writing my own samples And my own lyrics what about what is this deep end I see here? What is that? It's a full project. Yeah, so it's a single uh, with my boy Kai that I just released a video for. You know, this year we're just going hard with uh, dropping singles and dropping videos. So this is like the first start for the year. Mm -hmm. What are, What are some of your inspirations looking back on it as a kid? Uh, I'd say probably my biggest inspiration would be uh, System of a Down, the rock band, just because they talk about something you know that's way bigger than themselves and um i feel like that at the end of my career that's something that i want to be talking about something bigger than myself mm. where, where do you see where would you like to be five years from now um i feel like any any artist would you know just want to be at the top with, with everybody else you know just um creating my name for myself and just having a long lasting career so wherever that is for for an artist what differentiates you from a, a, other artists um I wouldn't say there's a ton of differences. You know, I am using music like therapy, like a lot of other artists are. This is how I found my voice and how I learned to express myself. Um, I feel like, you know, I do have a very unique way of expressing myself and being able to uh, put my story into into my music. So I think that, that definitely differentiates. It's, uh, it says here on your body that you've been through a lot of pain and, and life-changing experiences. What do you care to speak on some of those the, the pain that you've been through? Of course. Um, so at a young age, um, you know, I was raised by my mom. Uh, my dad wasn't really in my life. He uh, oh, was... you sure not black? <laughs> yeah. Kidding, kidding. I, come on, that was that was a volleyball. I had to. <laughs> yeah, right. Dad left, but um, uh, he was still around. Like I still went to his house every now and then. Um, he pa he passed away when I was eight years old. Uh, and... Damn, I should yeah. have played. I apologize. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It, you know, drug drug addiction is is such a hard thing to get over. My dad was facing, you know, his own demons that I didn't, you know, understand. I still don't understand really at, at this day and age. But um, yeah, just seeing him go through that, I kind of put myself in that same position. You know, dealing with the same drug and alcohol issues. And um, but you know, unlike him, I, I eventually forgave him and got over everything and um I, I found something to productively put my time into and you know i have my own son now that i look at and uh you know i want to you know move the world for so i got a lot to live for congratulations on your son thank um you. from what from the little but i know i think you'd be a good a great dad thank keep, you keep up the great work that you're doing with, with with your son and your family as far as musically who are some of the uh name three artists that you listen to that that you listened to in the past week Past week That's in your your playlist right now, uh, Ruchi, Lil Uzi Vert, and um, my boy the Nobody Man. Mm. Where do you get some of your music um, inspiration from? Like, do you? Because again, I've never been to Cali, but they say the drives in Cali are so amazing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing nothing so uh, cool like that. Um, you know, a lot of the the stuff that I write about are. Um, I'd say more so now or just stuff that I'm looking forward to in the future, um, what I want to make of myself in the future, stuff that I got going on, you know, now just uh, learning how to become a father, um, having a relationship with, with my woman and how that's growing and changing. Um, I used to write a lot about just like my past traumas, just trying to get over everything with my dad. I felt like I was writing about that a lot, but now it's mm -hmm. changed into looking towards the future. Uh, are you... 
happy about the pivot, the change in your music? 100%, man. I, I was something that I was looking for for so long. I felt like I struggled for so long just trying to find ways to connect with my dad. And um, it really wasn't until I had my son that I could, you know, so, some things were answered to me where, you know, I would look at my son and I could kind of understand because, you know, I was addicted to certain things. You know, I, obviously I, you know, I am a, I am an addict at the end of the day. I could understand, um, you know, how my, you know, maybe my dad being messed up or you know wanting to do drugs and then looking at me he's like you know he's better than this you know and like, he mm -hmm. deserves better this mm -hmm. is what I, I even told myself at times it's like i wish i never did any of that so that he doesn't have to find out that i did these things yeah. one day so. so it's a tough life being a dad especially out here in these streets so um keep your head up yes sir it's not gonna be easy it'll be long the day the days are long but the years are short Hundred percent. I was told that a long time ago, and it's definitely true. It's all about what you can do now. At the end of the day, uh, yeah, I definitely was a person to hold on to everything and to not let stuff go. And you know, it really is just move on day by day. Um, you know, there's so many things that go wrong, especially you know having a newborn baby, for example. You know, what I mean, he could fall one day, and you can't hold on to that for the rest of the time. Mm -hmm. You got to let it go, and just you know, you can't be too hard on yourself, especially over the little things. What was what is some advice you'd give to your a young you? Definitely say the big, the biggest thing is, you know, I've seen so many kids uh, growing up that, you know, have big dreams and they just, you know, for lack of terms, follow the sheep. They do what everybody else think is easy. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to go to college, but some things are just not, you know, made to go to college for. Some things are just, you know, sometimes you don't even have to be in high school for that. Sometimes you got to go to trade school. Do whatever you want to do that you really love because now is the time to do it. You know, you're going to wait 30 years down the line and regret and waste you know, all that time wishing that you were doing the thing that you were really loving to do. And that's a fact. I think that's where we should leave this. Young Javi, thank you thank for the you. words. Um, let me know how to follow you and uh, stream the music and all that good stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm mainly on Instagram, The Real Young Javi. I also have my, my website, realyounghavi.com, if y'all want to follow that. Y U N G X A V I. Thank you, MZ. I appreciate the, the support. And uh, until next time. The next time you're in the city, come back. We'll do it again. Let's do it. Young Javi, MZ, it's a sit down. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.